what's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about the most loved towns in England. As an American, I don't really know anything about English towns, so today I thought it'd be fun to not only learn about some towns in England, but to learn about the most loved towns in all of England. And I want to find out what is it about these towns that make them so loved by the people of England. So, with that being said, let's take a look. Follow along and see if you too would love these most loved towns in England. Okay. 10. Selby. Selby. We start off with Selby. A Selby. Selby. I feel like I've heard this word <laughs> before. I feel like I've heard this name before. I have absolutely no idea where it is. But this name, is this a famous English town? Like in particular? I feel like I've heard of Selby somewhere. A town in the ceremonial county of North Yorkshire. Oh. It is a market town and civil parish in the oh. Selby district. With its status as a town council, Selby is... I, uh, just, just one thing real quick. Of course, even the English towns randomly have like, what, what, what is that? Like a cathedral, a castle, <laughs> just in, in the small towns even? Or maybe that's a contributor to why this town is so loved. But again, like the, the architecture in England is just like kind of ridiculous. The historical buildings and stuff, there's, you, you don't find that kind of thing here in America. You, you just don't. 14 miles south of York on the River Ouse, the town with a population of 14,731 is oh. one of the 10 most loved towns in England. Only 14,000 people? 14,000 people total? And it's got this, whatever this is, it's got a clock on it? Uh, that's ridiculous. Like, I... I, I'm a bit jealous. <laughs> it's beautiful. There used to be a large shipbuilding industry in this town, which was historically a part of the West Riding of Yorkshire until 1974. Okay. It was also an important port on the Selby Canal that was bringing trades from Leeds. Something okay. to be loved about. So, so this town is imp was historically important in shipping. There's a river. And they're about to say what it's loved for exactly this town is the market towns and picturesque villages. Oh. It's one of the most loved also because house prices there are lower and people get more for their money. Uh, yeah, okay. Nine. <laughs> Froom. Froom? When Froom was listed among... Froom? I've never heard of Froom. <laughs> I like saying it though. Froom. Never heard that word in my life. Never heard that name. This is, this is kind of what I'm excited for here in this video, is these English towns that I have never ever heard of, I guarantee you, most Americans have never heard of Froome. Why is it showing us a picture of, uh, <laughs> trees and water? Is this, is this the town of Froome? Do the people live in this <laughs> river? What is this? Among one of the best places to live in Britain by a popular ranking, Here we, we go. know it's going to be one of the most loved towns in the country. Okay. Now this town and civil parish in eastern Somerset is the ninth most loved town in England. Froome is built on uneven high ground in the Mendip Hills at the eastern end and it centers on the River Froome. Yeah, it is. Like, I'm just noticing, like, this looks, this street is built on a hill. That's very cool. And I think they said, this is just, this is a popular town as far as Britain goes, let alone uh, England. The town about 13 miles south of Bath and the largest in the Mendip district of Somerset is loved for being welcoming, charming and vibrant. Oh. A part of the parliamentary constituency of Somerset. And it's got like these sort of cobblestone brick uh, roads. They're, they're right. Everything is, seems to be built like going up a hill. You really stay in shape living here as well if you're walking everywhere. Hamilton and Froome, it has a wealth of history, culture, and natural beauty. Okay. People from outside the town love it for its tranquility and antiquity. It is nice. Eight, Malden. Oh, what's this? Malden. Never heard of it. Uh, what is this? Colorful buildings. 
and some kind of t tower or something. The next of the most loved towns in England is Malden. Malden. The town council, also in the ceremonial country of North Yorkshire, is another town in the county on this list. Okay. Of course, North Yorkshire has a lot of loved towns. Uh, yeah, I, I keep hearing this North Yorkshire. I think most Americans would say Yorkshire. Now I know it's Yorkshire. Um, I don't really know what that is. Seems to be an area in England. And there's a, there's this like the second town at least on this list so far that's also in this area. And this civil parish on the Blackwater Estuary in Essex is just one of them. Ah. In the seat of the Malden district and the starting point of the wow. Chelmer and Blackwater navigation. Very cool. Known for Malden sea salt being produced in the area, the town with a population of 14,220 is loved for being a good place to retire. Good place to retire. Again, only 14,000 people. These are such cool looking places. Like, like if these places existed in America, it'd be like a big tourist destination. But this is just like, you know, it's just a, a, a great town in England. There's 10 of them on this list. And uh, a lot of them seem to be on by water as well. That seems to be like a, a perk of being in England. In the United States, it's very rare, very, very rare because of how massive the U.S. is to be by the ocean or near like water or something, unless there's a lake or something. But this is really cool how there always seems to be water nearby. You will find a lot of elderly people from whom you can learn about the rich English history and culture. Ah. Seven, heart. Heart, 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 heart. Not, not heart, heart. <laughs> My barbaric, harsh American speak there. I feel like I've heard of heart. I feel like I've heard of it. Nothing really comes to mind. It's like a memorable name because it's like like a heart. We would love to include heart here, even though it is a local government district. It's oh. in Hampshire and derived its name from the River Heart, with its council based in Fleet. Oh. Formed on 1st of April 1974 under the Local Government Act of 1972, it doesn't have city status. However, it's oh. the merger of the urban district of Fleet and the Hartley Whitney Rural District. Oh, so this is this is not a city. It's technically a town. It has to do with the government and combining different districts. Very cool. Again, the Queen's Head. <laughs> is this a pub? Oh, please tell me it is. The Queen's Head. <laughs> we consider Hart one of the most loved places in England after okay. it was named the best place to live in Britain by the 2017 Halifax Quality of Life study. This was voted the best place to live in all of England or Britain? It was named the best place to live in Britain by the 20... In Britain? In all of Britain? The, the town of Hart? What, in 2017, I don't know what's happened since then. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. If your town is at any point in time the best place to live in Britain, that's insane. 2017 Halifax Quality of Life Study. Okay. It's indeed one of the richest and least deprived areas in the entire United Kingdom, cool. according to the Indices of Deprivation 2015. <laughs> Some of the photos they choose to show here, man. Like, why are they showing us a gas station? Petrol station. Why are they, show why are they, why are they showing us this, of all the things? In art. In <laughs> the town ranked 326th least deprived out of 326 local authorities in England. What's it, what is this picture? Show me the town. <laughs> why people love heart. <laughs> Six. Okay. Ilkley. Oh, now here we go. Ilkley. That's a cool name. That, could, that sounds like a name that could get popular in America, like a first name, like Ilkley. Ilkley Smith or something. Anyway, <laughs> this is giving me ideas. Um, this is so cool. Just immediately as you look, it looks so freaking English. Just the architecture, I mean. And there's like already a cathedral poking up and some kind of castle in the background, <laughs> of course. Let's go to the county of West Yorkshire in Northern England, the location of Ilkley. The Ilkley, also in this Yorkshire again. Sixth most loved town in England. Okay. This spa town and civil parish in the city of Bradford includes the adjacent village of Ben Riding. Wow. But it's a ward within Bradford, about 12 miles north of the city and 17 miles northwest of the city of Leeds. This place looks plucked right out of history. For me, anyway. Like, as an American. It's crazy, because I guess for, like, people in England or Britain, you, you see 
buildings and, and stuff like this all the time. But it's just incredible to think that this is normal for some people. The community-focused town that lies on the south bank of the River Wharf in Wharfdale is loved for being a spa town. This spa? heritage and surrounding countryside are what make tourism a key local industry. Oh, okay. People love this town for its wide street and floral display, coupled with Victorian architecture. Yeah, yes, The yes. residents and non-residents of this Ilkley consider it one of the most loved towns. Oh, it's really beautiful. Yeah, and it's got an amazing landscape as well. <laughs> Five, Altrincham. Altrincham? Altrincham. Never heard of it, which I'm kind of happy about. Most of these I've never heard of ever. N literally never heard the name of in my life till now. Please find Altrincham in the fifth position on the list of the 10 most loved towns in England. Okay. This market town is in Trafford in Greater Manchester. Located at the River Mersey, it is eight wow. miles southwest of the center of Manchester City. It is also oh, three miles. It's by Manchester. That's cool as well that you're very close to Manchester. Southwest of Sale and 10 miles east of Warrington. Okay. The town with 2011 census of 52,419 is loved by residents and non-residents because of the good transport links to these cities in addition to Stretford and Stockport among other destinations. It, Art, Art Tringham is very close to a lot of cool stuff as well as being a loved town in and of itself. Um, they said that the population was like 50,000. This is, finally, it's kind of getting up there. It's, it's also kind of cool. Some of the other towns in the first five only had like 10 to 20,000 people. So it really is a small town, which is kind of, if you're into that, it, it can actually be quite nice. Uh, more of a sense of community, I suppose, and knowing people. The town that was a borough from 1937 to 1974 is still a market town. It okay. hasn't stopped experiencing socio-economic development that glues the residents to this town. Oh, okay. Four, Stamford. The Stamford. Stamford. Sounds like Stanford, like p popular university uh, here. Stamford. Never heard of that. The fourth most loved town in England is Stamford, a town and civil parish. Wow. With the status of a town council in the South Kesteven district of Lincolnshire, wow. it is loved for its quaint past. Look at this. That's just, it's, it's just like out of a book or something. Like to me, like this is out of Lord of the Rings or something. This bridge and the, the foliage and the architecture. It, it's really cool that this is just like how towns are in a lot of cases in England. That's, that's, I can't get over that. <laughs> Passageways, main thoroughfares, and market squares. With an estimated population of 20,645, okay. the town retains its 17th and 18th century stone buildings, yeah. which inculcate in people a sense of originality. Yeah. The older timber-framed buildings and medieval parish churches add to the beautiful history, architecture, and charm of the city. And again, medieval churches, Again, a river. There's always a river. How is that even possible? There's always a river in the towns. I'm not jealous or anything. No, definitely not. <laughs> Movie producers even love this town and frequently choose it as their film location. Oh. A survey by the Sunday Times in 2013 rated the town top best place to live thanks to the love and happiness expressed by the residents of the town. That's that's so cool. How it's such a it looks like such a cool place with so much history. And it's a pretty small, like, population, only 20,000. Three, Wilmslow. The town of Wilmslow is charming to the people of England. Wilmslow. Yeah, I've never heard of this one either. It is a market town and civil parish. The town with the status of a town council in the Unitary Authority and Ceremonial County of Cheshire is... I, I've never heard about the status of a town council. I've, ne I've never heard that phrase before. A lot of these are, like, technically like a town council or something. I'm not sure what that means. 11 miles south of Manchester city center, with a population of 24,497, nice. the town center is focused on Bank Square, Grove Street, and Water Lane. Ah. One beautiful thing this small town is loved for is its quietness. Residents and Quiet. non-residents appreciate the peace and tranquility of this town. As small and peaceful as- we No, <laughs> no Americans allowed. They like it nice. And quiet, <laughs> no disturbances, please. <laughs> Wilmslow is, it has many pricey stores where you can pick up just about anything you need. 
jewellers with dazzling rings in the window, plush interior shops and cool. specialised stores are there to cater to the shopping needs of the residents. Yeah, yeah, a lot of these towns seem to have something like this. A big shopping town square or something. with There is a Starbucks, so us Americans could survive here after all. <laughs> but it's also like beautiful, not like too artificial looking, like a lot of American towns and cities can, can kind of be. The cost of living also is low. Wow. Two. Two. Okay, so we are on the top two right now uh, out of the 10 most loved towns in England. Number two is Stroud. Stroud. Never heard of it. Stroud. The second most loved town in England is Stroud. Okay. This is the main town in Stroud district and it's in the county of Gloucestershire. Stroud is located <laughs> okay. 10 miles south of the city of Gloucester and 14 miles southwest of Cheltenham. I've never heard of Gloucester or Cheltenham. <laughs> I can't even say the words. I I've, I've never heard of any of these places. It is 13 miles away from Sirencester toward the west northwest and shares its northeast border with the city of Bristol, which is 26 miles away. Okay. Stroud also shares its border with Wales at Whitebrook, Monmouthshire. Oh, this is this is by the English Welsh border. That's interesting. You two would have many things to love about this town and agree with the March 2021 ranking in the Sunday Times that named Stroud the best place to live in the whole of the UK. All of the UK. Stroud. That was in 2021. Not that long ago. Um, this was this was rated number one best place to live in all of the UK. That's amazing. The paper cited the town's abundance of green spaces, school quality, and independent spirit as the basis for the award. That's good. Okay, that's cool. Uh, independent spirit. Good schools. That's the kind of thing you're thinking about if you're like a... Like if you're if you're a parent or something with like kids and you're actually thinking about like, does the town have a good school and stuff? So that's important to a lot of people. One, Nutsford. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm being very immature here. <laughs> being very immature. I just didn't expect it to be called Nutsford. <laughs> Any American would laugh at that because uh, we're all very immature. Number one, Nutsford. Definitely never heard of this in my life. This is number one most loved town in England. Why? Why is that? The little known town of Nutsford incidentally tops this list of the most loved towns in England, and remarkably so. Okay. Several surveys reveal that almost everyone living in the town is happy with the town, also considered a civil parish. That's good. A civil parish. Again, I don't know what that any of that means. All the, everyone who lives there is happy. That's a pretty good metric for is it a good place to live if everyone's happy. Knottsford is located in the heart of Cheshire, in the district of East Cheshire. The okay. plenty of love enjoyed by this quaint and quirky market town may be due in part to its convenient location just off the M6. Non-residents also love it as an ideal place to enjoy a day or a weekend visit. Just off the M6, it's a convenient place to live. What is, what is the M6? Sounds like a highway or something, maybe? It's not an easy feat to choose these 10 most loved towns in England. The luscious bursts with so enchanting towns oh, wow. capture tourists' hearts. I, I, and that's it. That's actually it. We didn't actually get all that much information on Nutsford, um, unfortunately. But, you know, for what this was, this was a really fun list to take a look at, just to get a a glimpse, a welcoming, an idea of 10 great towns in England that I had no idea what they were or what they looked like before. Uh, for, so for that reason, I actually really enjoyed this. This was by Learning Canteen, and I gotta give that a like, because I did like that. The, these towns were all beautiful. Um, they went into a little bit of detail of how some of these are like located in really great places, some of them are really small, some of them have great schools or marketplaces, and uh, some of them just have really happy, happy people living there. So that's kind of what the the metric was for why are they so loved. And that's really cool, because again, I don't know, I didn't know anything about English towns. Now I know something about English towns, which is which is cool. Uh, I enjoyed this anyway. If you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. Perhaps with your thoughts on 
Whether these are the most loved towns in England, did you agree with this list? or your thoughts on this, that'd be very interesting. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Britain and British culture and stuff in Britain that I've never learned about before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.